Well, it certainly doesn't feel like Christmas time right now on this Saturday morning, but that's about the change over the next 24 hours as we may be looking at our first white Christmas since 2002. Taking a look outside at Viper weather radar now, you can see most areas in the East Coast completely overrun by this huge blob of rain and that's associated with a cold front that is working its way through portions of western Ohio, slowly making its way toward the Pittsburgh area. You can see that changeover from rain to snow has already occurred for places like Toledo and other areas in western Ohio and that's slowly going to work its way through our area so that by this afternoon I think most areas that are seeing rain now should change over to a rain wet snow mix, maybe even a couple of sleep pellets uh, mixed in there as well. Temperatures right now very pleasant for late December, more like late October than late December. 52 in Pittsburgh, 52 in Butler, low 50s out in Westmoreland and Indiana counties. But you can see that cold front just off to the north and the west. And like I said, that's going to be sliding its way through the area as we go through the day, changing whatever rain is left to snow. Future cast now you can see most areas in that heavy rain, but that rain will move through so that by this afternoon around 2, 3 o'clock, we'll see most areas will be transition, transitioning from rain to snow. Like I said, maybe a couple of sleet pellets mixed in, but I don't expect much in terms of snow or sleet accumulation. The snow moves through that. So by tonight, just a couple of lingering flurries in the laurels. And then for your Christmas Eve, most areas will see mostly cloudy skies. But the next round of snow, and that's what everyone's talking about, will start to get into the area by midday Christmas Eve. And that first thumb of moisture will lift its way to the north. I think most areas north of I-80 should see the most prolonged period of snow. It'll be scattered snow showers in and around Allegheny County for the first part of the day on Christmas Eve. And then I think more steadier snows will develop as we go through the evening hours on Christmas Eve into early Christmas morning. I think that's when we're going to see our best bet at our accumulating snow. I think in that time frame, we might see a good thump of snow, and that's where we'll get the majority of our accumulations. When you wake up on Christmas morning to head to church or open those presents, most areas should be snow free and just some mostly cloudy skies. In terms of accumulations, most areas in and around Allegheny County should see an inch or two, I think closer to the two inch uh, snow amount, especially areas north of Pittsburgh. I think your best bet for two, three or four inches would be surprised if the National Weather Service issued some winter weather advisories for areas north of Butler. Uh, they could see three, four or five inches. Everybody else just an inch or two for your Christmas, which would make it a white Christmas. So your forecast looks like this. We'll see rain this morning changing over to snow by this afternoon. Our high of 54 has already been reached. We'll drop into the mid 30s by this afternoon. Tonight, any rain that's left will end as a couple of wet snowflakes will dip to 26 for your Christmas Eve. Cloudy to start and then snow developing in the afternoon. We'll see our best period for some accumulating snow Christmas Eve night into early Christmas Day. We'll see a high of 37 tomorrow, 29 on Christmas Day. Temperatures will fall throughout the week as a huge blast of Arctic air moves through 26 on Tuesday, 22 on Wednesday. Look at those overnight lows struggling to stay in the lower teens. And then our next round of some accumulating snow looks to move in for the end of the week.